here in the middle of my busy mom day. Um, attempting to drive through the traffic here in town. It's pretty awful. Nobody knows how to drive, including me. <laughs> um, but I just finished up a doctor's appointment for my newborn. She's two months old today. Um, she got her shots. I'm a pro vaccine mom. I give my kids all the shots. My dad, like, he was born in the 60s, and as a kid, he had the measles. I'm not interested in my kids getting it. Sorry. Um, and so, my newborn, she's basically only going to doctor's appointments and necessary outings until she's one. Since uh, she can't get measles vaccines until she won't be safe from the measles until she's a year old. So, um, really scary stuff, especially since, like, I wanted to go to San Antonio, see my sister, she's at UTSA, and there are measles in San Antonio. Like, it's crazy how fast that it has spread, and it's crazy that it's taken people actually getting the measles before um, you see a bunch of mass vaccinations happening. And I'm not gonna argue. It's pretty obvious, like, vaccines save hundreds of thousands of lives every day. It's not a debate. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. What? Give my kids all the vaccines. My four-year-old, she's about to be five, she went and had her vaccines yesterday. Um, and I gave her a flu vaccine. I know the season's almost over, but it can't hurt her. They aren't gonna hurt her. And, like, I understand, you know, that there are a few cases where vaccines have caused, like, bad stuff to happen, but that is a risk you run with anything. I'm deathly allergic to penicillin. You don't see me saying I'm never gonna take another antibiotic again for the rest of my life. I'm grateful for the ones that I can take instead. Like, it's just some backwards, backwards ass thinking. Like, I'm afraid of harming my kids, so I'm going to let them be exposed to harm intentionally. I just, I don't understand it, so. Didn't make any fucking er, sense to me. Sorry, I was trying not to cuss there. Didn't make any sense to me. Just kinda makes me mad and frustrated. And, I mean, I have I have people that are anti-vax on, like, my Facebook page. And I've, I'll sit there and have civil argument with you. You want to say that this can be cured by a vitamin? Viruses can't be cured by vitamins. You want to say that you can take this instead to whatever? If you're taking something to cure a disease, you've already had it. You could have prevented it. That's just dumb thinking to me. Like, like measles. They say vitamin A can help measles. But like, why even go through the risk? Why put your child at risk of those super, super high fevers and scarring all over their body and all that stuff because you're being vain. You got vaccinated 20, 30 years ago. It wasn't a thing to not vaccinate your kids, you know? Or if it was, it was far and few between. And those moms got looked at like they were crazy. Like the moms who aren't vaccinating now are still being looked at like they're crazy. Sorry. I'm a nurse. It's very hard for me to understand, like, people not vaaccinating their children. Like, it'd be the same thing as, oh, they have the flu. Well, I'm just going to give them a bunch of orange juice because vitamins fight stuff better. And when they die from the flu, it was because of the flu medication that she didn't take, that I saved her from. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it doesn't make sense. And I know there's bad stuff that happened with town flu. There's bad stuff that happens with every single medication. You have 
allowed to take that risk, okay? Like, it's just one of those things. And I feel for you if your kid is, is one of the ones that's been affected by vaccines, but at the same time, would you rather have your kid dead? And that's basically what it says. This wasn't meant to be a vaccine video. I just am like knee deep in vaccines. My daughter got two, got some yesterday. My little one got some today. Um, we have a WIC appointment later, so you know they're gonna be like, we need to know if they're getting their shots. Yeah. It's, it's exactly like I've seen, I've seen the argument like, okay, if you don't believe in vaccines, well then when your kid like gets sick of it, if, if you think the pharmaceutical company is all bad and science that's been proven by scientists is all wrong, well then you don't deserve medication, okay? Like, if you're choosing to be that ignorant, like, oh yeah, this guy went to school for like eight, 10 years, you know? This nurse put in uh, two, three years. This nurse puts in hours and hours of their time. Doctors put in hours and hours of their time. Like, we're not doing it for fun, you know? Nurses and doctors aren't out here sticking. We don't like to give babies shots. We don't like, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts to give like old people shots. It hurts to give anybody a shot. It, like it's a human reaction to not want to cause pain onto others. But at the same time, you know that what you're giving them is like life-saving. So it's okay. And that's why you won't see any nurses or doctors that are like not going to vaccinate their kids. We've seen what happens when you don't. Okay. We see like horrible stuff happen to poor little kids or grown-ups even because they aren't vaccinated or they haven't, they just don't believe in the medication. They don't believe in following the doctor's orders. They're doctors for a reason. <laughs> token uh took my little girl to the doctor she is 39 inches tall she weighs 44 pounds doctor got upset he said she was overweight she is five pounds overweight she just finished spring break all she did was veg out on my couch and so i was like arguing with the doctor back and forth because i generally feed her pretty healthy stuff. She doesn't get juice unless she's eating a meal. She drinks lots of water. She's active. She's like, she had, she'll be, she was in between like soccer finished a few, a couple of months ago for like winter break and soccer starts back up on Monday. So I'm like, give her two weeks and she'll be right back underweight. But the doctor's like making a big deal about it. He was talking about no sugar, no sweets, nothing like no junk food in front of my daughter. So now my four-year-old is there putting herself on the scale like am I still like how messed up is that you know like one I don't think five pounds is enough to be alarmed about like I feel like she could take a good dump and cut that in half and I don't know like isn't four years old like too early to be worrying about like body image like that? I don't know. It's just not, I don't know. I, it's ugly. It's ugly. And I guess maybe the doctor should have was trying to teach both of us at the same time to live like a healthy lifestyle or whatever. I had a baby in January, you know, like it's going to take my body time to get back to being small. Like, I'm five foot tall. I realize that I have to set the example for Zoe. She's going to be short. She needs to keep an eye on her weight. That's all there is to it. I'm the same way. I'm five foot tall. I need to be in, like, the 120s for it to be, like, a healthy weight. Right now, I'm in, like, the 150s, which, like, isn't good for me. And I understand that. And if the doctor wants to get after me because of my weight, that's fine. But like he needed to be a little bit more sensitive to the topic when it came to my daughter. Cause now I have to undo the damage done of him causing like four year old body issues. I, I don't need her to grow up and be like anorexic or have an eating disorder or anything like that. So we're just gonna work on eating healthy and I'll 
talk to her and let her know that she's perfect and I love her and scale is just a number and BMI is a whole other BS scheme. Oh my God, don't even get me started on that. How effed up the BMI scale is for people that are like short and Hispanic. We aren't like Scandinavian or Anglo-Saxon. So the numbers make us look like horrible. But that's a video for another time. I'm home now for a little bit. It's time for Lucy to take a nap. Time for Mama to take a nap. Well, maybe, maybe. And uh, yeah, um, thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes, letting me vent. Um, if you like these type videos where I'm just talking and, or if you know you have an opinion or anything about the vaccines, if you've been affected by the vaccine, then now you're a pro-vaxxer or an anti-vaxxer, uh, comment below. Um, yeah. Oh, and if you like the videos, please subscribe. Uh, aside from that, I love you. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.